Which of these numbers are prime? In order to help out, let's look at a quick and easy method to test if a number is prime or composite. To begin with, for any composite number, we'll call it x, its prime factors must be less than the square root of the number. So, for example, let's look at 36. Is it prime or composite? In order for 36 to be a composite number, it must be divisible by one of these prime numbers because the square root is 6. And if it is divisible by one of these numbers, 2 or 3, then it's a composite number. And it is divisible by both 2 and 3. So if a number doesn't meet this rule, then it must be prime. So let's take a look at 29. The square root of 29 is 5.38 roughly. So we only need to look and see if it is divisible by prime numbers smaller than 6, which are 2, 3, and 5. We can go ahead and eliminate the 2 and the 5 by looking at the 1, because uh, 9 is not even, nor is it 0 or 5. So we just have to check the number 3. And 29 divided by 3 equals 9.66, so it is prime. Let's look at another example. How about 97? The square root of 97 is about 10. So we will look at prime numbers less than 10, and they are 2, 5, 3, and 7. So again, we can eliminate 2 and 5 by looking at the number 7, because it's not even, nor is it 0 or 5. So really, we just need to look at 3 and 7. So 97 divided by 3 does not go even, it's 32.3, and 97 divided by 7 is 13.8. Again, it is not even. So, in summary, in order to find out if a number is prime, for any number, find the square root, then all the prime numbers smaller than the square root. And if it's not divisible by any of these numbers, then it is prime. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.